Well, it may be back to the drawing board for the state and Foxconn. It's all about the future in Racine, which is now considered a smart city. Mary Jo Ola on why this is a big deal for the community. It's a really big deal. We're the smallest city ever to be selected. The city of Racine just got a big shot in the arm. Mayor Corey Mason talked with us from a San Diego hotel after learning his hometown nabbed one of five smart city designations. This is all about improving the lives of our residents and using technology to do that. This win is a result of more than a year's work between people in local government, education and business. The city wins access to experts, tools and grants to bring their vision of a better Racine to life. We're also very intentional about talking about how this new technology needs to reduce inequalities in our community and not make them greater. So what does improving quality of life look like in a smart city? It could mean instead of standing in line here at City Hall, you could access those services through your cell phone or new technology to offer more transit options to get around town or better internet connection for businesses to grow and kids to do homework. From a Gateway's perspective, about training that workforce. At Gateway Technical College, the Smart City Push fuels their work training people on the latest technologies and networks to move the city forward. The security of those networks, the speed of those networks, and how to use the data that's gathered those are the new skills uh, for workers in a smart city. This sends a message, I think, to the to the broader community that, look, if you want to innovate and if you want to invest around this kind of smart technology, Racine's really the place to do that. Mary Joola, today's TMJ4.